Okay, so for today's look, I am starting by prepping and priming my skin. I am applying a lip balm for my primer. I am using the Hard Candy Hydra Prime 12 hour primer. And for my foundation, I am mixing the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and Pro Glow in the shades 105 and 204. Mixing these two will help me not have such a matte finish nor such a luminous finish. It's going to give me sort of a semi-matte. And the mixture of these two gives it really nice coverage. I am blending everything in with a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush and then patting everything with a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to make sure there's no lines. For my brows, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. I am starting by lining my brows and I'm going to fill in lightly. I'm not going to do my whole eyebrow right now. I'm just going to basically map out my shape so I can work on my eyeshadow. To clean up my brows, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. That's just going to help me really carve out my brows and define them. And I'm also using the same concealer as my eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to just pat everything in with that same beauty sponge. I'm also going to set the concealer with a translucent powder just so the eyeshadow doesn't skip or doesn't come out blotchy or patchy. For my eyeshadow look today, I'm going to be using the Morphe Brushes 35W eyeshadow palette. These palettes are really inexpensive, very affordable. I'm taking that taupey shade and I'm going to buff that into my crease, making sure that it is nicely blend blended since this is going to be my transition shade for my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to take this bright orange shade, and this is going to really warm up the look. <clears throat> I didn't want it to be so taupey or cool toned. I wanted it to still have some warmth. So I'm going to buff that on top of that first shade that we put down. Next, taking this middle tone shimmer brown, I am going to pick that up on a smaller eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to really define my crease with that. I don't want to put a lot. I just want it to be strictly in the crease to give it more definition. Next, I'm going to pick up this more rich, warmer brown. It still has a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to apply that directly onto the lid on the entire lid from inner corner to outer corner. Next, I'm going to pick up Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe this is, oh, I don't know the eyeshadow name of it. It's just her single black eyeshadow. I'm going to pick up um, a more defined crease brush and I'm going to pack that on the outer corner of my eye to create more of a cat eye effect. And I'm going to place it in the outer third, blending in towards the inner part of the eye. Next, using the same brush that I used for the orange shade, I'm going to blend out that black to make sure that there isn't a harsh distinction from the warmer tones to that intense black eyeshadow. And then with a clean blending brush, again, just making sure that there is no harsh lines in the uh, crease. For eyeliner today, I'm using the Tardis Clay Paint Eyeliner. This is probably one of my favorite eyeliners. It is super dark and it is super matte. Um, another really good one is the NYC Liquid Liner. That one I also love. It has a very thin brush if you are more on a um, budget or if you just want to try 
something inexpensive if it's your first time for eyeliner, I highly recommend the NYC one. So for mascara today, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to apply falsies. These are the Vegas Sine Grand Glamour Lashes. These are very full, very dramatic, and very wispy. Um, if you are new to trying lashes, I would recommend the Ardell Wispies. The band isn't as thick and they're more easier, or they're easier to play with. Um, I'm going to do a cream contour today. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I'm just going to apply that underneath my cheekbone, my forehead, and down the bridge of the nose. And I'm going to blend it out with the same brush that I applied my foundation with. Um, the reason I like to use it is so the bronzy color doesn't overpower and it's not too intense. If I use more of a clean brush, it can be a little harsh and to blend out the nose contour I'm using an elf blending brush I'm just going to blend the color out using the brush and my finger to make sure it is nicely blended and you can't tell about where I placed it For underneath my eyes, I'm going to start by using the Erase Paste from Benefit in shade 2. This is going to cancel out any darkness, any discoloration that I have underneath my eyes. I don't really have any, but I like to use this first to make sure that my concealer is super bright. For my concealer, I'm using the Tarte Creaseless Maracuja Concealer. I'm not sure what shade it is. It doesn't say on the box, but I will... Um, link everything I'm using down below and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes a little bit on my forehead on my chin and on the bridge of the nose to help with the nose contour and then to blend everything in I am using the same real techniques sponge that way there is just no distinction I am going to bake a little bit underneath the eye. I am using the RCMA No Color Powder and I am taking a makeup wedge and I'm just going to place it in a upside down triangle. I'm taking it into my nose and I'm going to take it up to clean up my wing. I'm also applying a little bit on the forehead and on the chin. For the rest of my face, I'm using the NYX Photo perf oh, what is it? It's like the oh there it is the no filter powder. I am in the shade 05 and I'm taking a e.l.f. powder brush and I'm just going to dust away any of that no color powder. That way it doesn't leave it too white and I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with it. To bronze up my skin, I am using the Sephora Collection Fiji Bronzer. This does have a little bit of shimmer in it and it's a little bit more cool toned. Um, if you are a little bit more with a warmer undertone, more of a yellow undertone, I would personally recommend going with, I believe the other shade is Bora Bora. It's not as cool toned, it has more of a warm tone to it and it's a lot more flattering and it's not shimmery compared to this one. I'm using it with a Sephora Kabuki brush and I put a little bit of the RCMA No Color Powder underneath to clean it up. For my blush, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Apricot in the middle and I am applying that with a crown blush brush. To dust away the powder, I'm using the same brush that we use to set our face with. And next for my highlight, I'm going to use the Benefit What's Up Cream Highlighter as a base. I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and I'm going to pat it on top, on um, the highest point of the cheekbone. And on top of that, I'm going to be using the J-Cap Beauty You Glow Girl in the shade Twilight. It's a very pretty bronzy shade. Um, this would look really 
really pretty on darker complected skin tones as well. I wouldn't recommend it for fairer skin tones because it could just show up bronzy, not as a highlight. I would go with the shade under. And I'm going to use that on the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow, forehead, and chin. To set the nose contour, I'm using the Benefit Hoola Bronzer since it's more neutral toned. And I'm taking just an itty bitty fan brush to set that with. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the lower lash line that I did in my crease. I am taking the first taupey shade and then I am taking the middle or no, the deeper brown shade and I am going to apply that underneath the lashes and just keep blending out. I did apply a little bit of black there as well. For the waterline, I am using the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light. That's just going to open up my eyes. I didn't want to put black there because I didn't want to close it off. I wanted the eyes to appear a little bit brighter. Next, I'm going to apply mascara onto my lower lashes. I'm using the same Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Um, this one is a little bit more of a bigger brush. I you could use a smaller one. Wet n Wild Mega Link is a good one just so you don't get any mascara on your lower lashes. For my inner corner highlight, I'm using the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Eyeshadow. It is very light with, it has like glitter reflex in it. It's really, really pretty. I'm putting that in the, owner, in the inner corner and I'm also going to apply it on the brow bone. I am setting my brows using the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3. I'm going to brush through my eyebrow hair and in the middle I'm going to brush up to make it more feathered and more of an ombre effect. For lips today I am wearing the Sephora Collection Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color in the shade Fig Luster. You could always swap out this color for a red or even a nude. This eye look really could go with any lip color. You could pair it with anything if you want to wear it for the holiday season. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the final result. I do recommend uh, applying more of like a setting spray, but other than that, you are good to go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season coming up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.